Hello, my name is June Gruber, and I'm a professor of psychology at Yale University. Today I'll be speaking with you about why happiness is actually bad. Happiness is an important part of everyday life, and often what we think makes our lives worth living. Recently, there's been a growing interest to better understand what happiness is and the ways in which we can become happier. So what can we learn about happiness from scientific research? Well, one important area of new research from prominent psychologists has explored how happiness can change our lives. Much of this scientific research reveals that happiness can change our lives in surprising but bad ways. Here, one fact only recently discovered by researchers is that happiness can actually make you less thoughtful. For example, people in a very happy mood can think less creatively. For example, this research has revealed that happiness makes people perform worse in both mathematical and verbal reasoning tasks. Here, unhappy people actually perform better on these tasks compared to happy people. Furthermore, happiness also seems to lead people to take more mental shortcuts, or what psychologists refer to as heuristics. Because happy people rely more often on these heuristics, they engage less frequently in thinking deeply or thinking carefully about things around them and other people, even to the point of thinking about certain groups of people as criminals. It turns out that people who aren't feeling happy actually do this significantly less often than people who are happy. A second fact by international psychology researchers in Australia is that happiness can actually lead people to become more selfish, caring less about others around them. In one study, people who were feeling happy gave less to other people than those who were not feeling happy. So for example, in this study, people who were feeling happy kept more money for themselves when they are given the opportunity to share with another person. By contrast, people who were not feeling happy actually gave more money to other people when given the opportunity to share. These are just two examples of this new wave of research which has revealed the ways that happiness can be bad for us. Still, new results are being found almost every day. When you think critically about everything this research program has shown, it turns out that while happiness may make us feel good, it can actually change our lives for the worse.